Since she was a young cub, a guy by the name of Adolfo has assisted in training the lioness. Kiara was overjoyed to see the man when he eventually returned to the city after having to abandon his position as a lion trainer and settle there. You won't believe how one of nature's most ferocious predators responded when she saw her old pal, in fact. At first it can even frighten you, but don't be concerned. This kitten only wants to play. There's a good reason why lions are regarded as the monarchs of the wild. They are the apex predators, and they don't have anything to worry about while the entire jungle needs to fear their presence. People who go on safaris are always advised to be aware of lions and lionesses. Having a close encounter with these beasts is very dangerous, and there aren't that many people who can get close to a lion or lioness and live to tell the story. On the other hand, Adolfo is an exception to that rule. This lion cub is named Kiara, and she was trained by Adolfo. The man found her in Mexico and rescued her. He brought Kiara to a shelter and raised her, showing the cub what she needed to know in order to survive in a pack. The two shared a strong bond, but there was one problem. Adolfo took little Kiara to a wild animal reservation and gave her this name after the Lion King movie character. He didn't just let her there by herself. He helped raise and train her. Adolfo considered himself as being Kiara's adoptive father. The two bonded and gave birth to a beautiful story that we'll show you today. Although the name was inspired by the animated character in The Lion King, Kiara has many meanings in different languages. In Italian it means bright, and in Hindi it means God's precious gift. In Korean it means first ray of sun, and all these meanings were exactly what Adolfo felt for this precious lion cub. Kiara kept growing up and she couldn't fit anymore at the first wild animal sanctuary. Adolfo knew he had to take the heartbreaking decision and send Kiara to a bigger and better place for a lioness that was slowly becoming an adult. That's when Adolfo called the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation Sanctuary. The Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation accepted taking Kiara in as she grew bigger. In 2013, businessman Eduardo Sirio established the foundation after rescuing a jaguar cub he named Cielo. The poor cub was found in Monterey, displayed in a pet store. The goal the Black Jaguar White Tiger Foundation has is to rescue and take in as many wild cats as possible to make sure these magnificent felines are getting the best life possible. This way the sanctuary makes sure that illegal hunting is prevented as well. How did Kiara fit in her new home? Adolfo filmed himself and adept some photos and videos of himself with little Kiara saying they would have to part ways. It was heartbreaking not just for him but also for Kiara who was in his company every day. One year later they'd be reunited and the video of the two meeting once again became viral. Kiara grew larger and more ferocious each time. But she never forgot Adolfo. Kiara was constantly expecting the man to appear since he had managed to make friends with the lioness. Fortunately, Kiara's wish was realized. After Adolfo broke up with Kiara, a year had passed and the lioness had grown into a ferocious beast that no one dared approach. However, she never forgot about Adolfo, and when he came to see her, it was obvious how much she loved him. Adolfo decided to come back to the Black Jaguar White Tiger Park to pay Kiara a visit. The fierce lioness heard his voice and she got excited. The lioness could not believe that she was hearing Adolfo's voice. She kept looking towards the door, hoping that it was really him. Seeing how excited the lioness got people were advising Adolfo not to go in the cage. Do you think he listened to them? The man was still advising with the other zookeepers whether he should go in or not. But his decision was made simply when he saw Kiara. He knew he had to come in. As Adolfo was getting ready to open the door, he had second thoughts. Maybe Kiara wouldn't remember who he is and she might attack him. Wild animals can have unexpected behavior, and that growling and pacing was not something you'd take for a heartfelt welcome. So what did Adolfo do? Adolfo hoped Kiara would remember more than his voice. If she forgot him and he would walk into her enclosure, his life would be in danger. Was this a risk worth taking? The trainer used all his knowledge about lions and Kiara and opened the door. Love got the best of Adolfo and let the love he had for Kiara win over common sense. When Kiara saw Adolfo, she lunged at him and surprised her dad with a hug and tackled him to the ground. If you would see these photos out of context, you would think she attacked him. But all Kiara was doing was cuddling her dad. Adolfo needs to get used to having a lioness all over him because it appears that Kiara will do so every time he visits the zoo. Kiara begins biting Adolfo's jeans because she is so happy to see him again. Most people wouldn't even want to approach a lioness up close, but Adolfo doesn't mind if she bites his leg. 
Isn't this amazing? Kiara demonstrated her prowess at bouncing around her father because she was so delighted to see him. Adolfo couldn't be more pleased by her reaction. He didn't even imagine this meeting would be this intense. The big smile on Adolfo's face says it all. It took about half an hour for Chiara to calm down, and she sat next to Adolfo who was petting her. Isn't it crazy how this lioness acts like a house cat? This has to be one of the most incredible stories that we have ever seen, don't you think so? Chiara growled, panted, chewing her dad's clothes because she was too happy to see him again after so much time. What are they doing now? Seeing these moments, the trainers at the foundation couldn't believe such a dangerous animal expresses so much love for a person she hadn't seen for a long time. The fact that lions usually form a pack should have helped Kiara keep her love towards Adolfo, who was, after all, her dad. Adolfo's story continues and he updates Kiara's fans on social media, always making sure to post videos of themselves playing and hugging, or just chilling in the sun. Adolfo captions his photos with, My daughter. And this March, she turned six years old. There is no denying that the bond between Adolfo and Chiara is strong, even after all those months of being separated. The video of the reunion became viral around the world and helped raise awareness about wild animal sanctuaries. These touching instances allowed Adolfo to spread the word about the need for species protection and the threat of lion extinction. Adolfo continued to visit the sanctuary and got to know the other cubs he had helped hand raise. He is pictured here relaxing in the shade with the larger cats. Isn't this a picture that you hardly ever see? However, Adolfo is not the only person who has a unique connection to large wild cats.